Hi and welcome to Solving Linear Equations. Um, just before we start, a reminder that there is a notes jotter available for this video. Just check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video. Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you two different methods for solving equations. And I'm going to begin with a simple one-step process um, for each of them. So the first method I'm going to use is the balancing method. And so for 3a equals 12, what I've done is I've drawn these two straight lines. And they are there just to keep, uh, keep all my working out nice and neat, but also so that I can show what working out I've done as I go through. So the first thing is that 3a equals 12. Now 3a means 3 times. A. So we must remember if we ever see a number right next to a letter, it means that they are being multiplied. Now what we are going to do is we're going to do the inverse operations throughout this. And so where this says 3 times A, well the thing I'm going to have to do on both sides of my equation is to divide by 3. And so if I do 3A and I divide it by 3, well I'd be left with just 1A, which we just call A. If I do 12 divided by 3, I get 4. I have solved the equation. A equals 4. Um, the second question for balancing is C plus 5 equals 7. Now again, this means that C has 5 added on. And so my inverse operation, instead of adding 5, well, I'm going to take away 5. And if I do that, C plus 5, then take away 5, it would leave me with just C. 7 take away 5 would leave me with 2 and so c would equal 2 and finally e divided by 2 equals 4 that's what the fraction is telling me if it's written as a fraction it means it's being divided by 2 and so the opposite operation to dividing by 2 would be to multiply by 2 and we'll do that on both sides now if i take e and i divide it by 2 and then multiply it by 2 i am left with just e and if I have 4 and I multiply by 2, I get 8. And so I've solved the equation each time. This is known as the balancing method, doing the same thing to both sides of the equation. Now, an alternative method for, uh, for this is drawing a flowchart. And the flowchart is just there to show you what has happened to at each stage of the equation um, and how we get back to that starting point. And so in this question, I have 4b equals 20. Now the key here is you must always begin with the variable you want to know. And so I want to know what B is. And B, in this case, when I look at the equation, it has been multiplied by four. And so the operation that has happened, I put on the arrow. And when I do B times four, I get four B. Now this is in line with a box beneath. And that is because four B is equal to 20. And so now, as I work backwards, instead of doing a multiply by 4, which was the action to the right, I need to reverse that. And so I divide by 4. 20 divided by 4 is 5. Now, because that is in line with B, that also tells me that B must equal 5. In the next one, I've got d take away 9 equals 11. So again, I want to start with the variable that I wanted to know. So I wanted to know d. And in that process, I have taken away 9. And that gives me d take away 9. Now, you may want slightly larger boxes than I've used here. Um, and so d take away 9, we know that that is equal to 11. And so working backwards, going in the opposite direction, instead of taking away 9, I'm going to add 9. 11 plus 9 is 20. And so D equals 20. In the last one, I've got F divided by 3 equals 6. So F is where we started from. And in this process, F has been divided by 3 to give me F over 3. And according to the equation, f over 3 equals 6. And so now if I work backwards, instead of dividing by 3, I'm going to multiply by 3. It gives me 18. And so f equals 18. Okay, so we're going to move now to a two-step 
process. Um, so in these questions, uh, we're going to need two stages in order to balance up the equations and solve them eventually. Um, so in this case, we have 2a plus 5 equals 13. So in terms of our balancing this time, we need to think about what operations have happened. And so actually, in this case, we want to start thinking about bid mass. Um, so in here, that's telling us that brackets would have come first, then indices, then division or multiplication, and then addition or subtraction. And therefore, as we reverse the operations, we actually need to start working backwards. Um, so the addition and the subtraction, and then the division and the uh, multiplication, then the indices, and then the brackets. And so the first thing that I need to undo is the plus five. I need to subtract five from both sides. And if I do that, I'd have two a plus five take away five. So I'll just have two a. And on the right hand side, I'd have 13 take away five, which is eight. So now it says that two a equals eight. And so now we have the multiplication that we need to undo. And so we're going to now, instead of multiplying by two, divide by two. And so two a divided by two is just a, and eight divided by two is four. And so a equals four. In terms of the flow chart, we're going to go through the same process. We're going to begin with the letter that we want to find out, which is B. And in this equation, we just want to look first what has happened to B. Well, the first thing that happened to B is that it was multiplied by three in order to give us three B. Then we took away seven. And so we ended up with three B take away seven. Now three B take away seven, according to our equation is 20. And so all I now need to do is work backwards following those arrows. So on the first arrow, it said take away seven. So I'm going to do the opposite of that and add seven on. So 20 plus seven is 27. The next arrow said multiply by three, but we're going the opposite direction. And so we're going to divide by three. 27 divided by three is nine. And therefore B equals nine. If we try the same thing with C over three, take away three equals two. Well, the first thing here, thinking about bid mass, well, we would have to undo the subtract three first. And so we're going to add three to both sides. If I add three to both sides, well, that's going to leave me with C over three on the left and two plus three, five on the right. How would I undo over 3, the divide by 3. Well, that would be a multiply. So I'm going to multiply both sides of my equation by 3. And so C equals 15. In terms of the flow chart, I've got D over 2 plus 4 equals 6. And so I want to begin with D. And the first thing that happens to D is right here. It gets divided by 2. And so that gave me D over 2. Then we added 4. So I have d over 2 plus 4. Now, according to our equation, that is 6. And so we work backwards. Instead of plus 4, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to take 4 away. So 6 take away 4 is 2. And then, instead of dividing by 2, we're going to multiply by 2. 2 times 2 is 4. And so here, our answer is that d equals 4. And we're going to end with the situation where we are actually going to need three stages in order to get to our final answer. Um, and we're going to begin with three brackets, 2a take away 3 equals 15. Now, the first stage here is actually to expand the bracket. And so expanding the bracket means to multiply everything that's on the outside by what's on the inside. So 3 times 2a is 6a, and 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. And so our equation becomes 6a take away 9 equals 15. Now, the next stage will be to think of exactly what we did in the previous questions. What do I need to uh, undo first? Well, it is the subtraction. So I would have to add 9 instead to do the opposite operation. So 6a equals 24. And then in order to get a all on its own, I'd need to undo the multiplying by 6. So I'm going to divide by 6 on both sides. If I do that, a equals 4. Now, if you're using the flowchart method, 
we could actually do this a slightly different way because again if we want to begin with the letter that we want to know well in this case we want to start with b and in this equation what is the first step that happened to b well the first thing that happened is that it was multiplied by 2 to give us 2b after that we added 1 to give us 2b plus 1 and then finally this 5 at the front we multiplied all of that by 5 and so that gave us 5 brackets 2b plus 1 now what do we know that that is equal to well if we have a look we know it is equal to 35 and so all I want to do now is work my way backwards until I'm left with just b and so instead of timesing by 5 I will divide by 5 35 divided by 5 is 7 instead of adding 1 I'm going to take away 1 so 7 take away 1 is 6 and then finally instead of timesing by 2 I'm going to divide by 2 6 divided by 2 is 3 and so b equals 3 how about if we've got fractions involved uh, well in this case um, it is a three-step process but the idea is that we must understand what is happening in what order and so in terms of uh, 3c take away 1 over 4 equals 5 the over 4 is the last uh, operation so the dividing by 4 is the last operation which happens and therefore it is the first thing that we must undo and so if I have 3c take away 1 all being divided by 4 and I then multiply it by 4 I get 3c take away 1 and on the right hand side I've got 5 times 4 is 20 so then following through with the same procedure that we've used previously I then want to undo the subtraction so I'm going to add 1 3c equals 21 and then finally I'm going to undo the multiply by 3 so I'm going to divide by 3 and so c equals 7 in terms of the um, in terms of the flowchart method we've got 2d plus 4 over 3 equals 6 and so as always we're going to begin with the letter d and the first thing that happened there is we multiplied it by 2 so we got 2d we then added 4 to give us 2d plus 4 and then we divided by 3 2d plus 4 over 3 now we know that that is equal to 6 and so now all we need to do is work backwards reversing all of the operations so instead of dividing by 3 we will times and so we've got 18 instead of adding 4 we will subtract 4 we're down to 14 and instead of times by 2 We'll divide by 2 14 divided by 2 is 7 and so in this case d equals 7 and so we're going to end with the exam question it came from the edxl paper in june 2017 foundation paper one and both of these questions were actually on that same paper um, spread out um, solve x over 5 equals two and a half was actually one of the very first questions on the paper um, solve four brackets x minus 5 equals 18 was a little bit further on so it's just a suggestion as to what grade you are dealing with here um, so in the first question x over 5 equals two and and a half now the key here is that we've got x divided by 5 and so if we are going to deal with that question then the main thing is we just need to think about some balancing how do I undo the divide by 5 well quite simply I do the opposite and I multiply by 5 instead so I'll get x and it equals two and a half now given that this is a non-calculator paper you might struggle a little bit with two and a half times five um, but do it in two stages what is two times five well that is ten and what's a half times five well a half of five is 2.5 and so put them together x is 12.5 in the second question solve four brackets x minus five equals 18 well here you've got your two choices if you wanted to you've got the balancing method which would generally begin with expanding the bracket so 4 times x is 4x 4 times negative 5 is negative 20 
and it equals 18. And so then as we balance, the first thing we want to do is undo the take away 20. So we'll add 20 on. And so 4x equals 38. And then we need to undo the divide, uh, multiply by 4. So I'm going to divide by 4. And so x equals, now this one again is a little bit tricky. We've got 38 being divided by 4. Now that would be the same as 19 over 2. And so if we half 19, what we get is 9.5. Now, what I would just say here is we should always be checking whether or not our answer is correct. And the way to do that is simply to put that answer back into the question. And so if you just want to do a final check, well, we would say that this is four brackets, 9.5 take away five equals 18. That is what we are expecting. So four brackets, 9.5 take away five, that is four times 4.5. And if we do four times 4.5, four times six, uh, four is 16, four times a half is two, it does make 18, it is what we expected, therefore four and a half must be the correct answer. Now, if you wanted to do this as a flow chart, in this case, we would take our first box and call it X, and the first thing that happens to X is that we take away five, and that gave me X take away five. After that, it was multiplied by four, and so that gave me four brackets X take away five. We know that that is equal to 18. And so instead of 80, uh, times in by four, I'm going to divide by four. So if I half 18, I get nine. If I half it again, I get 4.5. And then finally, instead of taking away five, I'm going to add five. And so 4.5 plus five is 9.5. Both methods have produced exactly the same answer, that x equals 9.5.